if you have been following me and this this podcast and my pronouncements for the past couple of years i have said one thing very consistently i have said this on this channel i have said this on other channels with in my interaction with, with other people as well that 2024 is a defining year for india also for the us but we are talking about india the general elections will will be held in 24 a new government will come to power or maybe the same government will come to power in a new form that's what i mean actually uh so the chinese i said do not want a strong indian government to come to power in 2024 they would very much rather prefer a weak government to come to power a coalition government that is there is you know easily malleable a pliable government that will be much more pro pro china softer towards china than what the modi government is so i have been saying this for the past 2 years the chinese would want a weak indian government to come to power in 24 but that was before everything went wrong for china see the first thing that went wrong to china in the last 2 3 years is the coronavirus pandemic the wuhan virus pandemic that has derailed the chinese belt and road initiative thoroughly nobody trusts china anymore nobody wants to cooperate with china and work with china in the bri the belt and road initiative the the maritime silk route all those things so china's great vehicle that would propel them to superpower status is gone it is dead in the water secondly the chinese have not been able to make russia their vassal state because india released the pressure valve which was all the pressure that was building on russia by starting to import enormous quantities of russian crude oil so the russians found this pressure release outlet and because of that they were not entirely isolated the americans would have ex- expected that Amer- india would isolate russia and bow down to american dictates that's not happened because of that russia has not been forced to go beg to china for you know for assistance so the chinese economy is now crawling it is going negative it is contracting china is on the brink of a demographic disaster the total fertility rate is, is below 1.2 which is a disaster it's a catastrophe for any nation <coughs> excuse me the chinese economy is not doing well it is no longer projected to surpass the us economy if at i mean the the earliest it could possibly happen is 2067 but most likely it will never happen because once the population the demographic disaster really kicks in the economy is going to contract even further so china is staring down the barrel it's no longer going to get rich before it gets poor it's going to get it's uh, rich before it gets old it's going to get old before it gets rich and it may never get really rich so china is in dire straits it is it is going to go towards a really bad time by the end of the 21st century china's population could be half of what it is today and most of them could be elderly people that's a disaster now imagine this scenario imagine this scenario for 2024 a weak indian government comes to power a coalition government led by god knows who i i think we can imagine who it could be if it if it happens the great dream of the west that mr modi loses the election and then somebody else comes to power as part of a very weak khichdi government coalition government imagine that hypothetical scenario which will not happen but imagine it such a weak pliable malleable coalition government is guaranteed to be very strongly pro usa it may be to some extent pro china also but it will be much more pro usa this is a scenario that did not exist until the chinese everything went for wrong for china they would also have preferred a weak coalition government but today they would rather prefer in the in the new scenario where they are today they would the chinese would, would rather prefer a strong indian government that stands up to the us because we know that the us wants to use india to counterbalance china and play their geopolitical uh, you know games and further the, the geo, us geopolitical interest in the indo pacific including uh, using things like the quad the quad grouping of nations and other things so if there's a weak indian government in power after 24 then they can then the us will be able to use india fully as an extension of us foreign policy 
But if Mr. Modi comes back to power in 24, that won't happen. So under in, in this new scenario, it is now clear that the Chinese actually would prefer Mr. Modi to stay, stay on in power. They don't want a weak government to come to power in India in 2024. Because Mr. Modi is not going to launch an invasion of China. As long as the Chinese behave and if they demarcate the border, the issue will be over. That's what Mr. Modi wants. Yes, India may have to agree to, to recognize Tibet as part of China. And uh, we may agree to, to freezing the border wherever it is, the LSE as the international border. Some such agreement could, could be arrived at. If the Chinese are serious in their serious about demarcating the India-China border. So, uh, so the Chinese, I would say now, in this new scenario, would very much prefer Mr. Modi to come back to power because Mr. Modi is known to stand up to the US, uh, to the US and to the West, and Mr. Modi has made it amply clear he is not pro-China, anti-China. He even uh, went out of his way to woo Mr. Xi Jinping in the in the during his first term, and to convey to Mr. Xi Jinping that India was willing to cooperate with China. It was Chinese intransigence that led to the current border conflict. So the Chinese behave and they are willing to demarcate the border. The India-China issue will be over. And things may even be open, you know, possibilities may be open for India-China cooperation. Obviously, India cannot afford to let its guard down with China because the Chinese have this expansionist mindset. But yeah, things could go, the relationship can be improved significantly. But that will only happen if there is an independent-minded government in India in 2024. So the scenario has changed now. I believe the Chinese now would very much prefer Mr. Modi to come back to power in 24. They would want Mr. Modi to win the 24 election. Because in the other case, if a weak government comes to power, it will be much more pro-US than pro-China. And that is going to be a disaster for China in the current scenario. So yeah, that, that's, the, that's the new deal. With, within the India-China relationship, that's how rapidly things are changing. That's how rapidly the entire geopolitical scenario is changing in the, in the second decade, in the third decade of the 21st century. Interesting days are here.